In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect a GoDaddy domain to system.io. So I'll run you through exactly what you need to do step by step. So here we go. So first, you're going to need to log into both system.io and GoDaddy. And once you've done that, you want to start on system.io. So once you're on the system.io dashboard, you want to go to this profile icon in the top right hand corner and then head over to settings. Now, once you're in settings, if you look on the left hand side here, you'll see custom domains. So go ahead and click on that and it will then show you your custom domains. By default, you'll just have your, your, your default system.io domain, but we can go here to add domain in the top right hand corner. Now what you want to do is go ahead and enter in your domain name. So head over to GoDaddy and once you've signed in, if you go to domain, you should then be able to find the domain that you want to connect. In my case, I'll connect knowledgebasehub.com. So we'll go ahead and copy this domain We'll go back to system.io and I'll just type in here www. then paste in the domain knowledgebasehub.com and then click save. So now I've done that, we'll redirect us to the next window and we're going to have to add some DNS records. So here you can see we're into the DNS configuration and we need to add these DNS records to GoDaddy. So go to GoDaddy, go to uh, manage DNS. And then once you're here, you want to then scroll down and see if you've got any current DNS records. So if you have any current DNS records, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and delete all of these that you can. So I'm going to delete this A record. I'm also going to delete this C name and this SOA record here. Okay, so I can't delete this. I can't delete any more records. Okay, so now we need to add two new records from system.io. So now we're starting from scratch. So now add new record. You want to go to type and we're adding a CNAME record. You can see here CNAME. So we need to add two records. Now the first thing we need to do is copy www. So copy that, then head back to GoDaddy and in name here, you wanna then paste in www. Here where it says value, you then wanna go back to system.io and you want to then copy all of this string here. So D1, Q6, or it might be different for you, but you just wanna copy this string here. So this is going to be DNS record one. So we're pasting in that string here. So that's just this one, remember. Okay, so now on TTL, you wanna click, you wanna leave on default, then click save. And that should then update the DNS record number one. And you can see here, it, it could take up to 48 hours to update, but we'll get to that later. Now we need to add a new record and we need to add another CNAME record. And then here we wanna go ahead and add the second one. So you want to go ahead and copy, so you can see my domain starts here, knowledgebasehub.com. You want to go ahead and copy all the way up to this dot here. Now we're not actually copying the dot, we're just copying up to the dot. So copy all the way to the last letter or number here. Go ahead and copy that. Then head back to GoDaddy and then paste that in the second name field. Remember, we're not adding the dot. Then go back to system.io and you want to go ahead and paste in or copy all of this string here, including the dot and the dash at the start. Paste that in here. Click save. And you want to do that and copy exactly what I just did with your DNS records. So now they should be added here. So here you can see the two C name records. Now we can go back to system.io and once you've done that, you can close out of this. And if you refresh, you can see now it is pending validation. Now system.io say themselves that it can take up to 24 to 48 hours for the DNS records to fully propagate. But they also have a method of checking to see if you've done this right. So if you go to a website called dnschecker.org, which is this website here, and then you paste in your domain. So we're gonna go ahead and copy our domain, go to DNS checker and simply type in our domain here and click search. If everything is green, and we've got all of these green ticks here, it means we've done everything correct. We just need to wait up to 48 hours for everything to be updated, and then we'll be able to select our domain in the custom domains panel. So that's how you do it, and I hope that video did help you out.